Bobby Green defeats Jim Miller by clear unanimous decision. This was very, very decisive. Bobby Green landed something like 130, 120 strikes to Jim Miller landing, I think, less than 50, or this is significant strikes we're talking about. It was something crazy like that. And Jim Miller has always been a warrior. He has been a credit to the sport of MMA. So this was kind of hard to watch, but it is pretty much what I was expecting. I didn't do a prediction video on this fight because there weren't really title implications on the line, but I felt that Jim Miller was always going to be at a deficit here because Bobby Green is faster, he has the reach advantage, and he is more athletically gifted. I was not expecting Jim Miller to not look for any takedowns in this fight, that was very bizarre, but... Maybe he just couldn't, because when you've been through as many wars and has had, a, had as many surgeries as Jim Miller has had, your body obviously isn't going to feel great every time you get in there. So I'm certainly not going to put any pressure on Jim Miller and say, oh, he should have done this, he should have done that. He's in there fighting, not me. But he was always going to lose this fight as far as I'm concerned if he stood on the outside getting picked apart. And he was able to land some good shots on Bobby Green, but Bobby Green is very tough. And his chin obviously is never going to be the same since his last fight, but it wasn't completely compromised because that stoppage against Jalen Turner may have been the worst I've ever seen in my life. So it was hard to see if Bobby Green would ever be the same after that. I wasn't sure if he could take any punch. I know how tough he is, but everybody's chin gives way, and after a, a horrible stoppage like that, which again was truly disgraceful, you never know if the guy is going to be normal after that but Bobby Green had his hands down really low he was taunting Jim Miller he was picking him apart from the outside it was pretty much classic Bobby Green in a nutshell and again we've come to see this from him for many many years and he is another veteran who is still going strong at this time now he did call out Paddy Pimblett after the fight which was pretty interesting because Paddy Pimblett I know a lot of people don't rate him and I have been one of those people who didn't rate him when I first saw him. I thought, this guy's not going anywhere. So I have never been motivated to do videos on him. And his victory over Tony Ferguson, which again was truly sad to watch. I mean, for me as a hardcore Tony Ferguson fan, it didn't prove anything. Because that fight was way more competitive than it should have been against a Tony Ferguson who was beaten up by David Goggins before the fight even started. If that fight does happen, I do not expect Paddy Pimlet to win. Bobby Green always brings fun fights. That is one which I would be interested in. And it's an opportunity for a veteran in Bobby Green to get a reasonably high profile fight. And it will be interesting. So I would like to see that fight. As for Jim Miller, well, always going to support him. He has helped make the sport what it is. And yeah, I do hope to see more of him. But whatever decision he makes, nothing but respect. Let me know what you guys think down below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more.